guys. I'm cooking something else. I'm having fun cooking. I was not able to cook three weeks, okay? So, that being said, I'm enjoying cooking again. You never know what you're going to take for granted. So, <laughs> tonight we are going to have um, sweet and sour chicken. And I'm going to use ready-made sauce. I saw a recipe and they had the sauce where you can make the sauce homemade. But, I'm going to use this pre-made sweet and sour sauce. So, we're going to have chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs with sweet and sour sauce. Mm -hmm. Going to season it with seasoned salt, accent seasoning, lemon pepper. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Mm -hmm. And that's it. So the first thing you want to do, well, first thing I'm going to do is clean up the kitchen a little bit so I can cook in a clean kitchen. I was just going to start cooking, but I was like, let me just go ahead and put these dishes away and get the kitchen straightened up. So then when I start cooking, I won't have this huge, huge mess. So I'm reloading the dishwasher and getting the kitchen ready for me to cook. so i am just taking some chicken thighs i have made this in my crock pot before but i wanted to cook this tonight so we're just taking some chicken thighs and then i'm going to season um and these are boneless skinless I'm going to season these up and then add some bell peppers and I'm actually going to use these frozen veggies also along with the ones that I'm going to chop up. I'm using these frozen veggies so I don't have to cut up any onions. So I'm using the fajita mix and I'm just going to season this with seasoned salt, lemon pepper and accent season and then throw the peppers and the onions in there and let this bake for about an hour. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes, driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Falling down, I 
I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. So now I'm going to take the sweet and sour sauce and coat the chicken with it, and then I'm going to put it back in the oven and just let it warm. Just let it set on the chicken. I didn't even leave this in that long. I don't even remember how long I left it in. Just long enough for the sauce to settle in on the chicken and just warm up a little bit. So I'm going to add this back to the oven while I cook the sides. And the sides were very simple. It was just rice, shells, Velveeta shells and cheese, and um, some string beans, green beans, whatever, on top of the stove. So... This rice cooker, my daughter gave it to me when she moved out, and I'm so glad because I hate cooking rice, but this thing has been awesome for me to cook rice in. So I'm going to put the rice, after I wash the rice, into the rice cooker, and I'm waiting for the water to boil for our Velveeta shells and cheese. Even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling down. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I'm coming to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the love and support and prayers. I keep saying thank you because I really appreciate each and every one of you that support me, that have been praying for me. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Look at this, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. Hey, it looks yummy.